I'm Gabby, this is Alistair and this is our friend Shane. We have spent the last few days travelling around the south of Spain in the wind and the rain. Now that the sun has come out, we're heading off to Cadiz, Tarifa and Gibraltar to explore castles, cathedrals, see some amazing views and meet some monkeys. They said it would be pretty steep. I started running from the monkey. Better get a move on. It's sunny. We're heading into Cadiz. <laughs> Cadiz is the oldest city in the West, is that right? Something like that. Homies were hanging out in Cadiz before the ancient Romans existed. It's really old. It's like an old, old place. Look at this door. It's a big ass door. I believe it was called a bishop's tongue and we're by the Catholic Church, so I figured it was fitting. Uno, tres, cuatro, cinco. Mmm! <laughs> boom, boom! Mucho bueno! Mmm! Seriously though, it is f***ing good. So the crypt we're in was used for music. Oh, misty eye of the mountain below Keep careful watch of my brother's souls. Now we're going to some old castle. I had an idea. I was thinking while we're out on this castle, since it's closed permanently, we should walk around the castle on the rocks. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. Okay. What, what, Let's what do try we think? It. We just looked it up and the tide is coming in. There's some pretty thin bits and we might get caught on the other side of the castle overnight. But we're going to see how we go. Filming and walking on slippery rocks, it's really hard. I have no idea if this is like super illegal or not to be walking around here, but it's freaking cool. We made it to the end of the freaking castle on the island, which means we're at the tip of the peninsula of Cardiff of Andalusia at a castle that I think is older than ancient Rome. Just had some guys come past and tell us that the tide is rising, so we better get home. Hola. Barefoot climb back through the water. We made it back from our mission. Got a big day ahead. Going to the southernmost tip of Europe, which is Tarifa, and then going to Gibraltar, hopefully. It's got a rock and a city. Monkeys, it's got monkeys. It's an early start this morning. Let's go. That's not the lens, <laughs> dumb fuck. Let's go. Walking along the beach in Tarifa, just across the strait from Morocco over there. And it makes me think about how people risk their lives to come across that strait and how incredibly fortunate we are to be able to travel pretty much anywhere we want on our New Zealand passports and how where you're born affects your ability to move around the world so much. Walking down to the island on the southernmost tip of Tarifa I am having a good time So this is Oceano Atlantico And now it's the Mar Mediterraneano Mediterraneo <laughs> No, I said it wrong We found another castle on an island that is also closed to visitors. Nighttime! Daytime! <laughs> the adventure.
adventure was quite short lived. We have reached a dead end. But we're going to go and find a spot for coffee. I am opening f***ing sunflower seeds that caused so much animosity from Alistair to myself. You wanted to buy them and you'd already bought like 50 other treats. <laughs> and now we finally decided to get the sunflower seeds. So you, so you eat the whole thing? God, that's nice. What do you think? Uh, I don't know if you eat the whole thing. And I saw it's a not picture good. of the seed on the it's inside. It's not good. Update. It tastes like ass. I think you crack up. We made it to the border of Khrebota. Hopefully we'll have no problems and we'll be on that rock right there. Right there, pretty soon. There is a massive queue of cars to get into Gibraltar. Going right around this block. So we've decided to park the car on the border and walk into the country. Took about two minutes. I don't even think they checked anything. It's a big f***ing rock. And everything's back to English. I mean, it's weird because we're basically in Spain, but it doesn't feel like it anymore. It's almost 3 p.m. and we are, well, I don't know, somewhere in Gibraltar. Nowhere near the rock, so we're gonna boost over there now and climb up fairly pronto because we only have a few more hours of daylight and apparently it's four hour hike. We just got to the bottom of the white rock I mean the big rock, I mean the Gibraltar rock, the rock. I'd say there's like a 50% chance we have to do the last bit in the dark. We're on the trail. We're going five minutes. There's some Mediterranean sea out there, although the light's a bit sh We're on the Mediterranean steps, which supposedly take us to the highest point of Gibraltar. And um, we're going down, so I don't really know what the is going on there. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Oh. They said it would be pretty steep. They did say. But uh, this is even steep for a New Zealand hike, so I'm impressed. <sighs> this is one of those times that being an ex-athlete is not very useful. Final push of the climb, I think. Oh, and we made it to the top. So that there is Morocco. Isn't it crazy that we're like looking at Africa right now? Spain, Africa. And? And what? Oh, and Gibraltar here. <laughs> we're uh, in some caves in the Gibraltar rock. So on our hike up the Rock of Gibraltar, there's obviously lots of monkeys around, which is really cool. Alistair was filming some monkeys, and I decided to have a nut bar as a snack. And the monkey saw me and started chasing me. And I started running from the monkey, and it chased me, and I was so worried it was going to attack me. And then I, went, as I was running away, I accidentally dropped the nut bar, and he just stole it and ate it. So all he wanted was the nut bar, but I thought he was coming to kill me. <laughs> we just had this little guy, well he's actually a big boy, try to steal our bag of food. He smelt it through the plastic, which is pretty impressive. He got in a, a tug of war match with Shane. Shane did well, and he won. Humans won this time, we got our food back. Now we're keeping an eye on him. Come over here. Hello. 
Just stand here, just stand here. Why? No, I'm not. It's hey, buddy. Hello. Ooh. Hello. So anyway, we've had a bit of chaos with the monkeys. Sunset in front of me. Monkey behind, well, a whole lot of monkeys behind us. Out here we've got Morocco and Africa. Uh, right here. The sunset and it's getting pretty dark, so we're gonna boost out of here. We gotta get off the mountain, so we'll be walking in the dark. We also have to try and survive the monkeys. <laughs> oh God, it's a big one. Oh my God. No. They're pretty and oh. cool creatures. Anyway, even this, onward we even go. Even the other monkeys are scared of this one, it's so big. Cheers mate, see you on the next adventure.